Hi everyone, this is Mark Shanker. I'm a visual, self-taught visual artist and welcome to my upstate uh, Hudson Valley studio. So today um, I want to give a brief tour of my studio just to show you uh, how I work and where I work. I've had the studio now for about 35 years and uh, while I thought when we originally bought it, it was quite large, it seems to be getting smaller and smaller. So let's take a walk around. Um, these are obviously some of my paintings that um, I've done over the years, basically arranged by size. These are um, 30 by 40. And um, one of the problems with the studio has been what to do with all the paintings. As you can see, I have paintings that go up to the ceiling, which is 30 feet high, and, are, and now they're encroaching on me in terms of the space of the actual studio. So let's walk around a little. This was, the, for instance, from my Luna Park series. This is some portraiture that I've done over the years. Some, some other portraits. Um, all the years seem to be mixed up. Sometimes it's hard to find the painting I'm looking for. Um, this is another theme that I had, which were baby carriages. And moving along, this is about 26 foot wall that we're walking around. This is my collection of CDs. Um, very few um, 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 composers I can work with. Um, I usually work mostly with Bach. Um, and I have a complete collection of Bach. These are some, this is a painting that I worked on a couple of weeks ago. And of course I continue to do drawings of different sizes and different mediums. Here are additional, another painting I did a few weeks ago. And a um, poster I enjoy by Leger. And I have a collection of, um, hin of Haitian voodoo art, which I like. I, I just think it's um, very mysterious. These are my tools. And I have wonderful light that comes in through these windows. This um, actual studio originally was designed as a dance studio. Um, and so we have like just beautiful light this is my drawing area. And I, of course, I keep binoculars on hand so I can keep an eye on the butterflies and the birds. I have a small library of books that I refer to. And if we move around a little more, this is where I actually do the painting. This is a painting I did a couple of weeks ago. Instead of using a conventional um, palette, I lay all the paints out on the table and then I just go around picking which ones I want. And then I put them out here and I use sandwich um, paper that I buy from a, um, a sandwich um, supply store and it's very cheap and usually I use a different paper every day. So everything I did the day before, whether it's good or bad or whatever, I eliminate it and start fresh every day. Uh, when I'm using drawings, I have them in front of me on a small easel. And I have here my, where I hoard my additional art supplies in case I run out. 
If we walk around a little further here, these are some drawings from surreptitious artwork that I refer to if I need. I don't care what, if they're backwards or forwards, sometimes they're more interesting uh, the reverse direction. I keep a book uh, and I read every so often. This one is um, New Guinea Highlands, and it's a collection of New Guinea art, which I think is beautiful, especially the masks and the swords and everything. And if we keep walking around, I have my um, microscope, which I use to um, look at things in a different uh, scale, and also to determine whether or not something that bit me is really a tick. I also have a collection of masks, which I um, bought in Mexico a very long time ago. And uh, what I thought was uh, going to be a press, a washboard press, um, which uh, never worked out, unfortunately. So that's my studio. Thanks for coming. This is uh, Mark Shanker, M-A-R-C-S-H-A-N-K-E-R, -E at um, markshanker.com. Bye now. <laughs>